Carvels were religious verses, up to 60 verses long, on religious themes, and they were performed in churches all around the island from at least the early 18th century onwards until the end of the 19th. Um, their themes were all heavily influenced by the Bible. Some were retellings of Bible stories, some were retellings of the creation story. So they're like a kind of history of their religion, really. I think that they were an expression needing to be shared. I say this because a great many of them begin with the line, um, there, my dear friends, so that the singer or the chanter is speaking to everyone in the church with him. We're led to believe by the few accounts that there are that the people who actually composed them were the people who chanted, for the most part, they say they chanted rather than sang them. So they had their carvel, their special piece for the day in the year where everyone was present to listen to them. And they were the people who were performing them. But the Ilveri was, was the night for the big performance. An Ilveri is described in at least three sources in a very prescriptive way. But I feel myself that they're all drawn from one source. And the earliest source is the poem by William Kinnish, which is the Manx Ilvery. He describes an Ilvery as um, the young people of the district gathering together, flocking to the church with their candles, which they'd made at home. And the girls were said to have made special branched candles for the evening when the formal service was over and the vicar had gone home. The clerk apparently stayed, presumably to lock up after them. Then the carvels began, and it seemed to have been the older men of the district who would stand up and do their carvels, while the young people started messing about, throwing dried peas at them and that kind of thing. And that's the sort of account that's repeated. Whether that's typical or whether that's just reiterating one account is hard to say. Jurog mac vajin is a Christ, Jurog emanuel.